Hey traders, this is Steve Miley, the market chart is for FX Explained. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at the Euro versus the US dollar, EUIUSD. Um, a more negative theme certainly forming here. So the market's been in this kind of fairly strong uptrend in here since pretty much the middle of May in here with global risk appetite high, um, with global stock indices surging higher. We can look at say uh, the DAX in here, really strong uh, rally in here for the DAX since mid-May, also for the uh, S&P 500. So these surging rallies in here, but they've been questioned here last week. We saw this sell off last week in uh, stock indices and then a rebound um, um, this week, but then starting that rebound starting to stall. So if we go back to the Euro in here, in here so we're kind of mimicking that um, that price action, strong recovery in here, being questioned with the seller from last week in here that we saw, and then the market rebounding and fading. A more negative theme in here though, uh, for Euro versus dollar, EUR, USD. And it's really US dollar strength, okay? So we've gone more into a risk off scenario since the middle of last week. That has been driven by two things. One in here, um, growing um, outbreaks um, and a possible second wave of coronavirus, COVID-19 in here seen in the likes of China, Beijing, in Japan, um, further outbreaks in here um, in 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 um, um, excuse me in Latin America where we're seeing the real epicenter, and then also significantly in here we've seen um, um, uh, in the U.S. a second wave in many U.S. states. Okay, in the south, southern and southwestern states, um, Texas, um, in um, in Arizona, in parts of California, in Florida. So um, in here, real concerns of a potential second wave. That uh, alongside the fact since last. Wednesday, we've had a more downbeat assessment of the US economy from the Fed. Jerome Powell again yesterday reiterating his more negative outlook for the uh, US economy in here and maybe saying that, you know, financial markets, stock indices, um, currency markets are getting ahead of themselves at how positive. Remember this, this whole rally in here and the whole recovery in here, there's the big March sell off, the March sell off um, in respect to a bid, a strong bid in here for the US dollar. And then in here, um, in here, we've seen seen um, more of a recovery phase um, in here since certainly through March and then again in here from mid-May into June. But then more recently a more downbeat tone. So this is US dollar strength, remember, going to the downside. And we've seen that US dollar, US dollar strength um, as the US dollar is seen as a safe haven, a flight to quality currency, um, and so euro weakening against the dollar. And we saw certainly a, an impulsive move back lower yesterday, having had that sell-off last week that took us down through this trend line support. We've also taken a look and get a little topping pattern, a better topping pattern, whether this is like a, a head and shoulders top in here or whether you look across it more like a triple top, whatever you want to class this, I think it's more like a head and shoulders. You've got more than a downward sloping neckline if it is a head and shoulders in here. But nevertheless in here, the market's certainly looking more negative in here. They're going to place that, I'm um, sorry, place on that neckline in here right now actually. So they've got this downward sloping neckline look through here in here and then if we break down through that then that would be certainly a far more negative theme in here for the um, for the euro versus the dollar certainly even just down through 112 11 would be um, quite a negative trigger so euro dollar in here setting up more negative a more negative outlook in here and that's reflecting this move to back to more of a risk off theme in here as we go into and through to the second half of june i'm going to wish you all a great trading day please be safe out there and i'll be back with you with some more analysis soon